a chapter a day to brighten your way. Even if everyone forgets you, our Heavenly Father will never forget you. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 49. Do you remember the servant songs we mentioned in chapter 42? Verses 1 to 6 of today's chapter make up the second servant song, which shows that Jesus Christ was chosen by God to turn Israel around and to bring hope for people all over the world, to have the opportunity to come to know God's love. The second half of this chapter is God's words of comfort for Jerusalem. I believe some of these are directed to you too. Let's read chapter 49 together. Isaiah chapter 49 Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples, from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength, he says. It is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nation, the servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I have answered you, in a day of salvation I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out, to those who are in darkness, appear. They shall feed along the ways, on all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will make all my mountains a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Behold, these things shall come from afar, and behold, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syene. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child, that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Your builders make haste. Your destroyers and those who laid you waste go out before you. Lift up your eyes around and see. They all gather, they come to you. As I live, declares the Lord, you shall put them all on as an ornament. You shall bind them on as a bride does. Surely your waste and your desolate places and your devastated land, surely now you will be too narrow for your inhabitants, and those who swallowed you up will be far away. The children of your bereavement will yet say in your ears, The place is too narrow for me. Make room for me to dwell in. Then you will say in your heart, Who has borne me these? I was bereaved and barren, exiled and put away. But who has brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. From where have these come? Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations and raise my signal to the peoples, and they shall bring your sons in their arms, and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Kings shall be your foster fathers, and their queens your nursing mothers. With their faces to the ground they shall bow down to you and lick the dust of your feet. 
Then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. Can the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captives of a tyrant be rescued? For thus says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken, and the prey of the tyrant be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you, and I will save your children. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with wine. Then all flesh shall know that I am the Lord, your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Jerusalem once thought that God had forgotten them. However, God said to his beloved Jerusalem, Can a woman forget their nursing child, that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. Perhaps some of you grew up with parents who were absent or didn't give you proper love and care, causing your heart to hurt deeply. It really isn't easy, but I believe God wants to personally comfort you today and tell you, no matter what, your Heavenly Father will always be with you and He will never forget you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please heal my broken heart, strengthen my faith, and fill my life with your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.